Hey guys, it is me here, Jam Sankith, here in NASCAR 14. Here we're here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway now, we're starting third. We had a little bit of damage in qualifying, which meant we couldn't run as top, you know, pace and qualify on the pole, but I think we've got Casey Kane on pole or Clint Boyer. I think it's Clint Boyer on pole. And yeah, Clint Boyer on pole, Casey Kane second, we're third, Kenzie fourth. And we've got a teammate in fourth, in fifth, sorry, not fourth. And Kyle Bush in fifth, that's the top five. Wait, no. I don't, I've got all confused now with the positions, but anyway, here it is at the start. We should, we should get a better finish than we had at uh, New Hampshire. Anywhere should be a better finish than what we had at New Hampshire. Hopefully we can we get a good run here through turn one. Can we keep that run going down the back straight? We're on the back of Clint Boyer. I'm going to try and pass him here. Not sure we're going to have the speed, are we? It's going to be close. There we go. We've got him down here. We're into turn three in the lead, but we run a tiny bit wide. It's not a problem when you can get the power on a bit there. And we're going to come across the stripe on the first lap here at Indianapolis and lead. And with Danica Patrick, well, leads her first lap since she drove in IndyCar around here. Hopefully, she can get the win here at Indianapolis properly in 2015. But this is going to be a good good race if we can get the win. She's been good at Indy, she just hasn't had the luck, to be honest, to get to victory lane, but here we are at Indianapolis, we're trying to get to victory lane for a ninth, our ninth win. It certainly is possible. It's just only a matter of time before we do get as ninth win of the season, considering there's good couple of tracks for us coming up but apart from Pocono of course we hit the wall I'm sorry about that I didn't mean to we got a little bit too quick on exit but but we're, we're running well as pace is running fine we've still got the fastest lap got a good line through these corners finally it's this turn that turn one the exit of turn one here at Indianapolis on the restarts and the start of the race it's always a challenge but here we are 206, 208, 209 going into the turn three we, if it got, if the cars get any more power and downforce here we'll be running IndyCar type speeds around here which isn't a problem we, I'm used to going kind of flat through here on the while I've been playing IndyCar games because for some reason you can run flat here with them and we've just matched our personal best even from qualifying so we've got to slow down there, that's not going to end well well we haven't got damage which lucky but we've got well the side of the car doesn't look so good but we need to pick up the pace and stop making mistakes but I get over excited when I go in this quick to be perfectly honest it's so it's not much of a problem but you don't want to get too excited especially when driving a race car here at Indianapolis because if you make one mistake as you've seen I've been in the wall twice already it's only lap 4 the car just seems to want to turn towards the left hand on this, on this course it's amazing that they've still got the grid positions from when the F1 raced here even though they don't race there anymore, it's amazing. They've still got the grid slots for where they're lined up, and I, I, I'm not going to lie, I do miss this race with the F1 here at Indianapolis. But I knew it. I knew it had to end at some time. But but the Grand Prix in Austin, that's it's a good try. But we didn't really need us own purpose-built racetrack for Formula One. We needed Indianapolis again because it's one of the best tracks in the world. This, or we could go race on the Daytona Road Course. That would would have been a would be alright to see as the US Grand Prix. 
but as we're coming up on the closing laps of this race, it's now lap 6 we're working. We're 1.6 seconds ahead, the gap has stabilised, we're not going any quicker, we're not going any slower, thankfully. But we're nearly 2 seconds ahead, we get such a good run off that final, well off turn 2, sorry. There we go, I thought we were going to get into the wall there. It was close, wasn't it, to be honest, if you, if you saw it, but got a bit of... That must have been from our guy that debris on exit at turn, but here we are, two laps to go. Two laps to go and we're leading here at Indianapolis. Made a good start. Seemed to have just broke out, broke out and got into a rhythm. Had a couple of mistakes of course, like hitting the wall, but but we managed to control it well. I don't like hitting the wall while I'm driving a one of Danica's cars, but just think if you watch the early videos of this season, I barely even scraped a wall, but now I'm hitting it all over the place. Something needs to be done. I need to stop, you know, getting too excited and hitting these walls. But final lap. We can win this one. Just need to concentrate now and keep it, well, bring it round to the checkers. Getting a bit sideways there on exit, but is it Kyle Bush in second place or Kurt? I'd like to see it be Kurt. But here we are coming around turn three. Slow it down a little bit. There we go. Then we're breaking down into turn four. Tires squealing a little bit as so we come off the corner for turn four. Blast down the straightaway. We win here at Indianapolis. Car looks a bit beaten up, but we win here. That's his ninth win of the season. It's a brilliant win that. I like I like winning here at Indianapolis. It's only my second ever win, I think, here on Indianapolis here on this game. My second and Danica's first. Hopefully, hopefully if she watches this she'll enjoy it, you know, winning at Indianapolis. So we know she will. It's only a matter of time before she wins now though. There, there we are. I don't think I want to show you that side of the car. It's not I know it's just part of a race and we're actually creeping sideways like this. I don't know why or how that's possible, but we was doing it anyway. I've just looked out my window and it's raining now. That's typical. Going out soon as well, so. But when this will be uploaded, it will probably be around 7 or 8 o'clock my time here, so maybe around midday I think in some parts of the US or just around afternoon but there we are in Indianapolis Danica wins at Indianapolis I'm happy to see that Talladega is the most competitive one of the most competitive races for both the Cup Series and the Nationwide or the Xfinity Series as it is now Ooh. Kyle Bush. He had that dominating season, didn't he, at one point? But right, I'm going to say Casey Kane because Keselowski being voted in by the fans. Yeah. Hmm. But there we are. Twelve points behind Jimmy Johnson now. With six races before the chase. So my aim now is also we are having the chase, of course. But to get this points lead back by the time we get to the chase, I, I think that's possible. We can do that. We, we've got a couple of drivers in the chase, well, in chase positions that haven't got wins yet, like Kenzie Stewart and this Boyer, Harvick, 
Ambrose, Kane and Logano and Gordon even. Christ, Gordon's not won a race this season. But he's in a decent points position here, but we've actually got drivers like Amarola that's got a win that's guaranteed a, a chase spot. So technically, with Gordon being where he is, he needs to either progress in the standings or win a race. But yeah, he's I'm surprised about that. He's not won a race this season. Thought he has done it. Christ, it's well. Anyway, it's it's Pocono next. And he's he's got a good shot at winning this winning this race. So it's Pocono and Watkins Glen is the next one. And Michigan should be an alright race in Bristol. I love that one. Then Atlanta, that's going to be brilliant. Then we're on to Richmond for the final race before the chase. Then we're on to Chicago where the chase starts. So I thank you for watching this video. And I will see you in the next race of Pocono.